Welcome to this guided meditation for spiritual awakening. This is an exercise inspired to raise the collective vibration towards sacred love. Close your eyes and make sure to stay undisturbed. Start by sitting or lying down comfortably and make no effort to control your breathing. Focus your attention on the circle of the inhalation and exhalation. Consciously relax your chest, shoulders, ribcage and belly. If your mind wanders, return your focus back to your breathing. Pray to Spirit, the primary source of creation. Say, Great Spirit of understanding and unconditional love, please enlighten my and our conscious minds with the energies of eternal, sacred love within intimate relationships. Great Spirit of courage and wisdom, Guide me and us to perceive the everlasting values of freedom, support and hold us between partners. May we respect the essence of true, unconditional love and ground this template on Mother Earth. Keeping your eyes closed, imagine a sphere of light coming down towards you from above your head. As the sphere approaches you and unfolds you, you perceive a cooling and relaxing effect on your physical and emotional bodies, a sense of acceptance and tenderness. Continue breathing in and out consciously taking in the loving energy of the light. Feel every cell of your physical body being illuminated and the luminous body around you being regenerated. Get rid of your physical and emotional weight and surrender to the sense of floating in unconditional love. starting to feel chilly, you find yourself in an icy lake and you see a pair of black swans on the sky coming towards you. The swans are landing on the icy lake, sliding across the ice and gradually coming to a stop. As the swans are sliding, their direction is marked on the ice and creates a stream of snow as the ice sparkles float behind them. You admire their large wingspan and their incredibly long necks that curve to rest on their backs. As soon as they come to a stop, they both turn their heads towards you and you perceive their synchronical movement as a gesture of respectful coexistence. From above your head you can hear a voice of a loving being that orchestrates the two swans with these words. The voice says, Love is a great spirit and like all spirits, love is an intermediate between the divine and the mortal. Love interprets between gods and men, conveying and taking across to the gods the prayers and sacrifices of men, and to men the commands and replies of the gods. Love is the mediator who spans the chasm which divides them, and therefore in love 
all is bound together. Through love, the art of the prophet and the sacred priest, their sacrifices and mysteries and charms, and all prophecy and incantation find their way. For God mingles not with man, but through love, all the intercourse and converse of God with man, whether awake or asleep, is carried on. The swans start sliding on the ice now, and the wanderers dance just being together, for as long as it is. You appreciate the fact that swans made for life, and they bond strongly and continue to mate with the same partner year after year, unless their partner dies. the driving force behind the joint movement of the swans. It says, This is the dormant wisdom of human consciousness. These are the lesser mysteries of life into which everybody may enter. The greater and more hidden ones which are the form of the known ones and to which, if you pursue them in spirit, they will lead. It will guide you to visit beautiful forms and create fair thoughts. And soon you will of yourself perceive that the beauty of one form is akin to the beauty of another. And then, if beauty of form in general is your pursuit, you would recognize that the beauty in every form is one and the same, and you will become a lover of all beautiful forms. Then in the next stage, you will consider that the beauty of the soul is more honorable than the beauty of the outward form, being not like a servant in love, with the beauty of one person, but drawing towards and contemplating the vast sea of divine beauty, you will create many fair and noble thoughts and notions in boundless love of wisdom, until on that shore you grow and wax strong, and at last the vision is revealed to you of one single science, which is the science of loving beauty everywhere. As the swans are walking on the ice, docile, black spots on the white landscape, they are coming towards you to show you protection and respect for the calling of your soul. The voice says, He who ascends under the influence of true love begins to perceive that beauty is not far from the end. And the true order of going or being led by another to the things of love is to begin from the beauties of earth and mount upwards for the sake of that other beauty, using these as steps only, and from one going on to two, and from two to all fair forms, and from fair forms to fair practices, and from fair practices to fair notions, until from fair notions he arrives at the notion of absolute beauty in unconditional love and at last knows what the essence of beauty is to become the friend of God and be mortal if mortal man may. The 
as you keep breathing in and out. The two black swans are standing in front of you and open their wings as a sign of a hug. You are feeling it as such. I am persuaded of the truth of this voice and being persuaded of it I shall not try to persuade others, but I shall be guided to the attainment of this end, accepting that my human nature will not easily find a helper better than love. Express gratitude to the infinite wisdom of the swans and gently come back to your physical body. Open your eyes. Feel centered and grounded. Be determined to ground energies of unconditional love on earth. that the one is the one since the beginning of time.